came to our new lesson of how to use the Hitachi board. Today we are going to use one of the options in the tools. We can click on start board on the tools and we can take the objects. Here we have a lot of options of these objects. We can take the triangle and here you can just draw your triangle. If we want to, of course here we can just delete this one. Okay. Now let's go to this our um, triangle. Here from menu you can take the object properties. From the object properties you can change the some of the properties of this shape. You can click on fill and click on the yellow color. You can see it uh, the, the yellow color here. After that you can just click on the color palette and from here you can take any of these and as you can see here the border of the triangle has been changed. After that you can click on style and from this style you can control the thickness of the border of your shape. Now let's go and take another object. Starboard again, tools, objects, and you can take, for example, the rectangle. Um, let's draw rectangle, and again you can go to select, click on this shape menu, probably the same one here, menu, object properties. And of course you can take another color, red, and again from the style you can focus on or change the style of the border. Now again from the menu here you can take the stack order. The stack order means you can control which shape do you want to put in front of the other one. You can take to the bottom and you can see that the rectangle go behind the uh, triangle. After that, now this is our uh, shapes. If you want to save this, these shapes, let's uh, to start with delete all these boxes. Now we are going to go to starboard, documents and save. Now, in your title and order name, the computer will automatically type the draft name for, the, for your file. It is uh, 24th of uh, August. Now let's click on OK. Now you exit this, uh, this software and we want to retrieve uh, our file. All you have to do just to go again to the software, starboard, uh, documents and from here you can see save data from the save data you can click here are the files that we saved today so when we click on uh, the first one and open it will uh, bring it back again now this file has been saved on the software itself and if you want to change the position of or the location of the file we have to go to starboard again documents and save data and from here you can click on uh, this option save as a file when we click on save as a file we can choose the location of our file let us assume that we want to save it on the desktop and we can change this the file name let's uh, just type test1 test1 and it will be saved on the desktop let's click on save and let's go up this uh, software exit and in the desktop as you can see here is our file all you have to do just to double click, double click on it And by this way we 
can retrieve our file. That's all for our lesson today. See you in the next class. Thank you.